How's it going guys? Today we're going to go ahead and review Kihu 360 Total Security. Now, um, when you go to their website, this is their website here, it looks like they don't call it Kihu anymore, they just call it 360 Total Security, but it's made by Q-I-H-O-O. -O. Um, that's the name of the company that makes it, but it's just called 360 Total Security. Now it is free, this is what it looks like here when you download it. You can go ahead and download it on the link on the description of the video below or go to 360totalsecurity.com and then you go to download and free antivirus. All right. So before we look into it, because here, here it is, but before we look into it, let's see what uh, PC Mag had to say about it. Let's look at the pros. The pros is bright, attractive user interface, which is true. Look at this thing. Really easy to use for people. Uh, ran it's got ransomware protection, which is good. Ransomware sucks. Basically takes your computer hostage. And you have to pay to get it back to protect you against that it's got many bonus utilities and it's free i like to a free ant, uh, antivirus program that has free utilities can't go wrong with that the only con i see with this as you can see here configuration not optimized for security by default mediocre to terrible scores in our tests and i'll show you those tests here in a bit so there's not many tests and the test that it does have has mediocre results it does uh, ransomware protection ineffective in our testing. So ransomware did not work. So that doesn't help. <laughs> Chrome extension missing. All right. And uh, on-demand malware scan is there. On access malware scan is there. It does not have website rating. Malicious UR blocking does not have. It protects you against phishing. Protects you against behavior best detection. It does not have a vulnerability scan. Does not have firewall. But like I said, guys, you get what you pay for. It's free. All right. So... Here it is. Um, you, it'll start up here. You can just click on check now. It'll start to check to see if you need any system repair, security threats, system performance enhancement, stuff like that. Now these are the tools that it has on a free ed edition, which is some of these tools you see them in the paid versions of other antivirus programs. But this one has them. That's what I like about this one. It, uh, it has all these useful tools. While it's scanning there, let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the program here. So for scanning, you got quick, full, and custom. I like that. All right. And the buttons are just right there. You can right away click it. Boom. Get it started. I like that, guys. Some antivirus programs make it so complicated, but that's what I like. So it's vid it is very user-friendly. I like that. It's still doing the full checkup. We're still doing the virus scan here. It's probably going to take a long time. A full scan is what I recommend you guys do. Uh, I already picked up something with system settings there. So it looks like it looks at system settings, common apps, running processes, startup items, and then your files. That's the part that takes the longest is the files. It just goes through everything. Speed up. Um, let's go ahead and scan. We can do everything at once here. This is cool. All right. See, it's even showing you here on the left side that it's working. I like that. I like that. Very user-friendly. Uh, this might take a while. Oh, look, it's finding stuff. Now, I know for a fact I don't have a virus. It's probably just finding some some stuff here that I probably already know about. Cool. And then if we hit optimize, I wonder if it will actually... I don't want it to delete anything. I've got to be careful when I do these things, guys. Be careful, guys, because uh, it could really... <laughs> sometimes you might unintentionally uh, delete your saved passwords and if you don't know your passwords by heart just be careful with this stuff this hit optimize um boot faster and run smoother so it's gonna do all these things here not bad okay click on select all optimize optimization complete so that's cool. That's cool that it has these extra features. Some free antivirus programs that I know of don't have these free features. So that's good. The scan is still going. Uh, the full check is done. These things can be fixed. Uh, system junk. I know I have a whole bunch of system junk. I'm going to hit repair and see what it does. Restart later. And there it goes. Oh, it's fixing selected issues. Okay. So like I said, a very capable program. And let's go to cleanup here. We did speed up. Now let's go to cleanup. Scan. 
I like how it's all right here on the left hand side. I'm going to give this program some good stars. The only problem is the test, which we're going to look at here soon. We're going to look at the test. <clears throat> we're going to hit clean up. And did I already clean it? Uh, upgrade to premium. See, now it's asking me to upgrade. So once you start using a lot of features, guys, it'll start to ask you to upgrade. But it looks like it still did it. Check it out. It still did it. Privacy cleanup. Premium only. So that's the only thing you don't get on the free version is the privacy cleanup. That's for premium. But you get a lot of stuff. For it being free, guys, you guys get a lot of stuff. And here they have this VPN, which is probably only for premium, I bet. Uh, we'll have to look at that later. Let's go to the toolbox here. Um, damn, we got a lot of stuff we could do with this thing. Data shield. Add. You can add to protect data. Network diagnoses. It's downloading. Privacy anti-tracker. You turn it on and... Ooh, that's for premium. Okay. I'm not going to get into our, my network because I don't want you guys to see all that information like my IP address and all that, guys. But if you guys want to use this, you need premium. Uh, privacy anti-tracker, you need premium for that. Uh, oh, yeah, here it is. It says right here. Oh, if it has a little crown, guys, that's for premium only. So we only get network diagnosis and we get 360 zip. Oh, okay, okay. And ransomware decryption tool. Nice. So that's if you get ransomware. However, the tests did show that it doesn't work. All right. So that's about it, guys. Here's just the account. If you guys have an account with them, um, you make an account, of course, if you're going to buy it. But the virus scan is still going. We went through all the features. Here's the 360 zip tool that it has. So it has a, it has a lot of tools. I like it. I really For a free antivirus program, I like it. However, let's look at the tests here. Test is way, way down here. Let's get to it. This is what it looks like when it detects viruses. Let's show you guys real quick. This is what it's going to look like. The download you're downloading contains a Trojan, so it does protect you from downloads. Uh, registry protection here, process protection. So that's how it's going to look like when it detects stuff, guys. Um, I'm trying to find it here. Hold on a sec. Uh, is this the right test? Let me just find the right. Oh, here it is, guys. All right. So down here, here it is. Kihu 360 total security. Detection rate is 2%, which is horrible. Look at the percentage of the other ones. Yeah, holy moly, only 2%. That is 63% different than the other one. Oh, man, that is bad guys oh my goodness gracious look kaspersky avg they got like 99 percent right but <laughs> kihu 360 only has two percent so man guys it's just it's just bells and whistles is what it is i mean at the end of the day what do you expect from a free it's got all these tools though right but actually detecting viruses is at two percent two percent compared to like 99 percent of avg and kaspersky that's bad that's really bad i'm gonna have to give this program two out of five stars because it's supposed to be an antivirus program, but it doesn't work as an antivirus program. It's got all these bells and whistles, all these uh, tools and stuff, which you can get for free online anyway. But it does not do what it was intended to do. That's to detect, look, 2%, guys, 2%. It detected just 2% of the verified phishing frauds. Oh, that's for phishing. Okay, okay. Oh, that's for phishing protection. Okay, guys, yeah, phishing protection test is what that test is for. Okay, okay. My bad, guys. That's just for phishing. Phishing means, like, if they take you to a fake Facebook website. But it's still, that's 2%. Come on. An antivirus test, we don't have test scores for it. So we don't know how it'll do. Um, there's no test scores from labs. Usually I come here to PC Mag and... So we don't got no test scores. We got 2% only for phishing detection. I'm still going to get a 2 out of 5 stars, guys. It's free, but I'm going to have to give it 2 out of 5 stars. It hasn't been tested. And the phishing uh, detection sucks. Ransomware doesn't work on it. PC Magazine tested that, and they, they literally said their ransomware 
uh, protection ineffective in the testing. So the ransomware did not work. So two out of five stars, guys. Uh, I don't recommend you guys get it. I know it's free. If it's all you can get, guys, it, it, I mean, it's better than nothing, right? It's better. 2% is better than 0%, right? <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon in the next video.